Over the ground, National Fences next end for the Topham. It's a Grade 3 handicap, two miles and five furlongs. Cape Solitude, Darren Thompson. Sapphire and Steel Martin, the Western Warmth, Darren Thompson. Loyal Alley, Leon Van Rensburg, Mercer and Ubis, Graham Clutterbuck, Ming and Gra Craig Beckwith. Carbon Neutral, Graham Clutterbuck, Amber Reef and Sakura Castles for Alex Cherry. So just nine in this then. But a surprisingly small field again. And called in and ready to go. And away they go. And Loyal Alley on the inside was early out, but Carbon Neutral has also got an interest in the early lead, it would seem, and so too has Mig, who I think won the burn plate last week as they get to the first, and Mig made a really bad mistake at the first. But the field is very tightly grouped at this point. There's only about five lengths between them as they make their way to the second, which is the chair, and a pretty daunting prospect so early in the race for these as they come down to it. And Mig will lead over it, and all safely over it. The back marker is Sapphire and Steel, who's a winner over this course and distance last season, winning the Fox Hunters. And now uh, running in much better races. And here in the Grade 3 today, Mig is the leader. And Mercer and Newis is second. They've dropped the water and they're now going to go on a complete circuit of the Grand National course. So the next fence they take will be the one that will be the first in the big race tomorrow. And Mig is the leader. From Mercer and Ubis in second. And then Carbon Neutral and Loyal Alley. And Western Warmth and Cape Solitude Stable Companions running together. The Annex Cherry Horses running together as well. Sacra Cattles and Amber Reef. And the one that's won over the course and distance, Sapphire and Steel, just a back marker as they take this one. The fourth today, with the first tomorrow. And it's Mig in front. Well, Mercer and Ubis as they get down to the fifth. All safely over that one and make their way towards the big ditch now then it's on the first big test in the Grand National and it's a second big test really today as they get over it and they're all safely over it without any problem at all and Mig continues to lead by two lengths to Mercer and Nubis in second over the next they go and all safely over that one heading down to the one before beaches next then with Mig in the lead. Mercer and Ubis second. Gap to Western Warmth and then Sacra Castles. There's always a crashing fall there. Sacra Castles has gone. So Sacra Castles out. But the one before Beaches, they come down to Beaches Brook now then with Mig in the lead. Mig's in front from Mercer and Ubis in second. Then Cape Solitude and Western Warmth and then Sapphire and Steel as they get over that next one. Then Carbon Neutral, Amber Reef and Loyal Alley and they're all safely over Beaches making their way down towards the Fine Haven fence which bizarrely used to be quite more, it's quite more difficult to jump to get more falls at Fine Haven than we do at Beaches these days but they're all safely over it and heading down to the canal turn with Mig in the lead. Mig leads from Mercer and Ubis and Western Warm second and third. Bit of a gap to Cape Solitude then Sapphire and Steel then comes Carbon Neutral and Loyal Alley as they get over the canal and they're all safely over the canal turn with Amber Reef the current back marker down towards Valentine's Brook they go then and Mig will lead them over Valentine's from in second place Mercer and Ubis. Western Warmth goes around the outside then Cape Solitude then comes Carbon Neutral Loyal Alley Sapphire and Steel is after that one then Amber Reef this is the 13th and they're all safely over the 13th then there's just four more fences to take then now and it's Mig who's still in the lead from Western Wolf and Cape Solitude. Over it they go, slow jump there by Loyal Alley. Sapphire and Steel has now dropped to the back as Amber Reef starts to get going. But they've got to get to this Mig. Mig's still too clear. Going around the outside, Loyal Alley. They get over the third from home in now. They've got a long run now towards the final two fences in the home straight. And then an even longer running. But it's Mig in front. Mig's in the lead. Loyal Alley is in second. Then comes Western Wolf. Carbon Neutral still looks to be going well. Then Mercer and Ubis and Cape Solitude, Sapphire and Steel is trying to run on, so too is Amber Reef. They're racing down towards the final two fences in the top of them, and it's Mig in the lead from Loyal Alley, who's now coming to challenge on the outside. Then comes Western Wolf, Carbon Neutral, Cape Solitude still there as well. The back two, Sapphire and Steel and Amber Reef have got a lot of work to do as they race down towards the second last fence. Mig battling on in the lead from Loyal Alley in second. Over the second last, Loyal Alley better jump lands in front from in second place, Mercer and Ubis. Mig 
Phoenix trying to stick on in third. Then comes Western Warmth and Carbon Neutral. These are clearing shortly between these and now as they race down towards the final fence. Loyal Alley is in the lead. Jumps it nicely. Gets away from me. Well, opened up a two length lead. It's Loyal Alley who's in front. But here comes Mercer and Nubis. Miggy's trying to fight back. Western Warmth is now coming through with a run as well as they race down towards the elbow. It's Loyal Alley in the lead from Mercer and Nubis and Western Warmth. It's three in a line at the elbow as they pass the chair. And it's Western Warmth closest to us. Western Warmth closest to us. Loyal Alley on the rail trying to fight back. Western Wolf on this near side, just in front. Loyal Alley not giving in. It's Nip and Chuck as they pass the line. Split them yourselves. I don't know which one of them two won it. It was mighty close. And not much between them. They flash past the post there. You can see the ground clutter of horses back in third. It could be close enough for a dead heat this but it's not it's long an alley for Leon van Rensburg who just hangs on on the inside to take it from Western Warmth in second for Darren Thompson Mercer and Nubis for Graham Clutterbuck was third Mig for Craig Beckwith was fourth Sapphire and Steel a bit disappointing today in fifth